This video is brought to you by Triple Sleeve TCG. Check out their website at triplesleevetcg.com. We got Aquaforce, boys. It's Thavas. Um, your starter is Kelpie Rider Mitros. Uh, the only reason I still play this deck is because I invested in an SP, so I'm legally obligated to it now. Um, its skill is the same as every other starter. Ride it, draw, grab a quick shield if you want second. Uh, you run grade fours in this, it's cool. You run four um, Marine General of Heavenly S Silk? God, yeah. why is it Silk? It's always been Silk. I just, that's why stupid. Why is Silk underwater? Wouldn't that just damage the Why can't it be like Marine General of Heavenly Salt? Because salt water? That would be too funny. Also, I know, it's like hilarious. Salt away ghosts? Yeah, and Heavenly? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you're just uncultured and Silk has a significant meaning behind water. You don't say this water feels silky. You, you don't, don't say that. No, Richard. Look, I know that you've splashed around in the bathtub, you know, while your mother, like, scrapes the gunk off your back and is like, do you like the silky water? And you're like, ha! <laughs> that doesn't mean you're right. No, being right makes me right. Being white makes you right? Richard's <laughs> a Republican. Um, he is wearing blue. You dumbass! <laughs> <laughs> you fucking trog! Okay, so Lambros' skill, um... It. It's short for troglodyte, which means you're, like, a subhuman. Oh, I already knew that. <laughs> and you live under a rock? Yeah. Yeah. Um... Yeah, Jose doesn't even live in, the, in his basement, he lives underneath the foundation of his house. It's moist in there, I love it. He showers with, like, the loose pipe water that just trickles down when they flush the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Lambros. So, if your Vanguard's Thavas, then in hand, this card counts as a grade 3. Um, basically, that just means that you can normal call it if you want while you're at Thavas. Uh, or if it says something like discard a grade 3, and I think it does, but I don't remember. Um, but anyway... Yeah, it's other skill is when it's placed on Vanguard Circle, choose any number of your rear guards and stand them. Um, th there's some plays to make with that. Uh, I'm, I'm happy it gives you control of what you can and cannot stand because there are um, requirements for some skills depending on how many units you have rested. So sometimes you don't want to rest all your, uh, you don't want to stand all your units. Uh, so its main skill though is when it attacks, you can counter blast one and soul blast one. Pick a column. Stand all of the units, all the rear guards in that column, and if your opponent is at grade three, those units each gain 5k. Um, so pretty decent. Uh, it has no gift, which is just a little upsetting, but I guess you can't use Excel markers anyway in the middle of your battle phase, so whatever, but still could have been... Just, you could have given it to him. You could have given us that. Uh, we run four Lambrus for the grade three and four Lambrus only. There's a lot of searching in this deck, so you should not be afraid of that. Um, this one has Excel, which is cool, uh, but its skill is uh, once per turn, you can rest a rear guard, pick one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. Um, you want to rest a lot of cards, uh, especially to use Thavis's, um superior ride, so that's kind of important. The other thing to know is that you can use that skill on rear guard, so take that as you will. Uh, and its second skill is on Vanguard at the beginning of your battle phase. If the um, number of units on your field at rest, if the number of rear guards at rest is three or more, you can discard a card from your hand, search your deck for up to one grade four, and at the moment, the only grade four we have is Lam Lambrus, of course, um, and then ride it, and it gets 15k, plus 10k, and a drive check. So there you go, you can give your... It's like you're striding! Um... And then at end of turn, retire that card and then ride uh, a grade three card from your soul as rest. So you do still get a uh, gift back. So that's, that's nice. But on its own, it really doesn't do much. You kind of have to go into Lambros. Um, for grade twos, we run four Kelpie Rider Dennis. Uh, like this card a lot on Vanguard or Rear Guard. You can rest one of uh, you can rest another Rear Guard. Um, check the top card of your deck and call it to Rear Guard. Uh, but this, it, it has, like, the, the Nemen Clause, where basically you can only use the ability of Kelpie Rider Dennis once per turn, so you can't do multiples of them. Um, 
but it's still very helpful because you know you you can use it to call a field and you can also use it early game. Just call it to the back row, so you, that way it doesn't give your opponent targets. Then we run four of this newer card. It's um, terrific coil dragon. Uh, its skill is once per turn on rear guard when it's stood by a, uh, a card's ability. You may have this unit get 5k until end of the turn, so it's a 14k. Um, that also means that when it's attacking and it restands mid attack, it's still gaining 5k. Some people just don't seem to understand that. Um, but its second skill is uh, when this card attacks, if it's the first battle of your turn, you can counter Soul Blast one and restand it. So you can use its five. You can give it 5k off of its own ability. Uh, remember, because of the how once per turn clauses work, you can choose not to stand it and then restand it later. Or give it five. You can choose not to give it 5k um, and then have it give, gain 5k later, but like there's not really a point to that. The once per turn. Because it says you may have this unit get 5k. Okay. Yeah. No, it doesn't would, matter. No, I was wondering if it said like a when it attacks or. No, but yeah, no. you're right. Yeah. If it said when it attacks, that'd right. be different. But then that would also not make sense because. It has to be first battle, so there's yeah. really no point in saying once per turn. Uh, and then last grade two, we run four Coral Soul. You kind of need this card for its offensive power, but basically, um, uh, during the battle it attacked, if the amount of other units at rest is four or more, this unit gets 15k. So 24k attack or 29k on a uh, circle. You can make it 34. You can make it 29 or 34 if you use Lambros or some other card. Um, but just, it's, it's your, it's like your heavy attacker. You need this card. Um, then its second skill is great for like against control decks because at the end of the, uh, turn, if the number of attacks you made, uh, that turn is four or more, you can shove this unit into your soul and draw. Uh, and that's really helpful with for Aqua Force because you kind of need the hand power. That's also why you run four, so you can probably see it more often. Um, now we're grade ones. We run four Kelpie Rider Nikki. Uh, when you ride it, you can check the top seven cards of your deck for either a Kelpie Rider Dennis or one who surpasses the seat, the storm Thavas, um, and add them to hand. And you don't need to discard off of that, which is nice, I believe. Yeah, you just ride it. You check top seven for one of the two, and you grab it. Um, so it's just kind of like a sort of better but slightly more limited grade three well, those grade three searchers but it's nice because you can get dennis off of it too i just wish you could do it on rear guard but it's not a huge deal it's rear guard skill though is still really nice uh you can rest this unit and put a normal unit um from your drop zone on the bottom of your deck to soul charge one there are a lot of cards in this deck that soul blast um so just getting soul back is super important but also you can send normal units meaning you can recycle your lambroses uh, it also rests itself, which is good to fuel Thavis' skill. So, if you see Nikki, call that shit. Uh, we run two Blue Wave Sailor... No, Blue Wave Soldier Senior. God, what the fuck? Blue Wave Soldier Senior Baragios. Um, it gains Junior. 5k. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It gains... That's the grade zero. It, gain, uh, it gains 5k if the number of units on your field at rest is two, four or more. Jesus Christ. Um, and then it's other skills on call, checked off five for grade three, add it to hand, and then discard cards if you see it. Uh, you only run two. It's not super important anymore because you have Nikki. We run three um, Battle Siren Nerissa. Love this card. Um, her skill is when she is rest by another card's ability, you can Soul Blast one, stand her, and give her 10k, making her 18 or 23 or whatever. Um, and then her second skill is at the end of the turn, at the end of your turn, if you have four more rested units, um, rested rear guards, you can shove her into soul and draw. So she's very similar to Coral Soul. So love that card. Um, then finally, we run four Wheel Assault. Uh, this card skill on rear guard is at the end of the battle, it boosted. Doesn't need to be the Vanguard, it can boost anything. Pick two of your rear guards and swap their positions. So this allows for more multi attacking, it allows to send cards. Uh, like protect cards that you want to keep on your field. Um, like let's say you want to keep Tidal Soul or Coral Soul on your field for longer. You don't want to use its draw skill that turn, um, but you also don't want to risk it being attacked. You can just use Wheel Assault to like swap it into your back row or something like that. Um, 
and that's that's just really nice. So it's a defensive card. It protects you. It protects your cards from your opponent's attacks, but it also helps you pull off more um, multi attacking. And in the situation where you might have like a nine k rear guard or just a card that doesn't have enough power to hit your opponent's vanguard, you can use this unit skill to move it onto one of your excel circles uh, to give it enough power to hit. So all around a really nice card. It's Vanguard skill I kind of like too. Um, when rode upon, you can counterblast one, draw a card, and then you must call one card from your hand to rear guard. But uh, that's not super important, but it is nice just to be able to draw another card to potentially get more resources. Um, and like you can always call like a card that you actually want on a rear guard, like Dennis, and then use Dennis's skill a turn early. Um, not a turn early, but you know, just use it. ASAP. Uh, we run 8 crit, 4 heal. Uh, I run these two because, you know, I don't like waifus, but I also don't like dragons, so I keep a nice balance. I don't like waifus, but I like sailors, and I don't like dragons, but I don't like waifus, so it's a balance. I put too much thought into my trigger lineup. Mm -hmm. uh, and then 4 PGs, Pascal. Um, and then for markers, you typically will go into Excel 2 because it's kind of just objectively better than Excel 1, but there are times where you'll want to push just for sheer power and go into Excel 1. Uh, but the draws off of Excel 2 are very appreciated in this deck. So, that's the deck. If you would change anything, let me know. Um, I'd change it so I wouldn't be running that deck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, donate to our Patreon, please. We could use the money and the support, but we really appreciate it. Uh, I'll catch you later. Goodbye. Goodbye.